What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby, Scout and I. And Cody, we have some exciting stuff for you in this video. You're gonna get to see a bunch of things we've been working on at the wedding venue. We've been rehabbing it, rehabbing it. I haven't put much rehab out on my channel lately, so you're gonna get to see me building a bar top out of pallets. Uh, fast forwarded, you're gonna get to see us pouring concrete pads in a patio, a fire pit, a handicap ramp, and then you're gonna get to see us starting to build a gravel parking lot, which is now finished. And the last project you're gonna see us trying to, I don't know, you're gonna see the dam of the pond hollowed out, but we have not fixed that yet. We're still looking to fix that. If you have any ideas, recommendations, you'll see what I'm talking about. The whole dam of the pond hollowed out while I was gone at Dale Hollow and my boat flipped over. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun video and there's gonna be some fishing. So stay tuned, watch this video. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas on a hollow, on the, how to fix a hollowed out dam, let me know. But I hope you enjoy, let's get to it. We are pouring a concrete pad. Got some guys out here helping. Uh, one of my neighboring landowners, Danny Schill, he's, he's offered to help me pour a pad. So we got it going, we got it all framed up. And we're gonna be pouring it this morning. How are you doing, Danny? Hey, guys. <laughs> you ready? Everything's lovely. We're waiting on concrete. That's right. We're gonna pour it. That's the that's the story of concrete, huh? Yeah, that's right. Always waiting on them. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna get this big patio extended today. We're gonna set up a time lapse, show you guys us pouring it. It's been raining a bunch, guys. Our creek is flowing. Go check it out. Show you the bridge I built here. We finally got a coat of stain on it, sealer, protect it from the water, but it's looking good. We left it a natural wood color. And look at this creek, guys. This is beautiful right now. Big old waterfalls up there. As far as you can see, there's waterfalls. Comes down, and goes right by our outdoor venue down there. You can see it too, all our benches down there. So we got, just about i don't know three weeks before our first wedding and we're gonna be ready this is our last big project this and the fire pit we're putting in a little fire pit where we took out that greenhouse so the trailer's gone it's coming along guys god is good so we're gonna pour this and then i'll show it to you here at the end of the video Okay guys, here we go. Next project. We got like 15 or 30 truckloads of gravel. This whole thing's gonna be a gravel parking lot. So, that's what we got going on. He is about to dump all this gravel. Woo! Yep, that's gonna be a bunch. And then I rented a skid steer. I'm gonna be spreading it out myself. The ground's too soft to use the chains and spread it with the truck. So I'm gonna make a road for the truck that'll go all the way back to there. It's like, I don't know, three acres. Three acre parking lot. We gotta fit like 150 cars in it. So, big project. We still have not fixed the dam of the pond yet, but we're gonna do this gravel project right now. So here's the current situation, guys. My boat flew off a cliff. 
trees fell on my bridge I built. We rebuilt that. Insurance is taking care of the boat. We're getting a new boat. But at the same time, I didn't even tell you guys, the spillway to our venue the, that we redid, one of the first projects we did, washed out. So uh, I say washed out, it hollowed out. 33 feet of dam hollowed out. It's hollow. So I don't know what we're going to do, but we got to redo this dam somehow. And our pond's eroding underneath the pipes. I got a pump going right now, and it is taking our water level down. I've had it going all day, and it has only dropped the water four inches. I got to drop the water about four feet. So it's a three inch pump. We're going to be getting a bigger pump, drop the water. I got to figure out how to make this pond quit leaking. This is our trophy pond. I see four or five pounders swimming around as we're working on it. We got to make it quit leaking. And you can't drive on a hollow concrete form right now either. So we got weddings coming up. We got a wedding May 2nd. We got a wedding, two weddings the end of May. We got to do something quick. So uh, this video, you're going to see what we end up doing. It's going to be over a few days probably. And I'm not really sure. So that's the situation. So we're going to fish the pond a little bit while it's emptying. Hopefully we'll catch a few here. But this is crazy. I'm not sure what we're going to do. If you guys have any suggestions for fixing the dam of a pond, the spillway, the main entrance that you drive over to our venue, let me know. That's our venue right there, the outdoor side and the indoor side. So let's get to fishing. Going to try the old sidewinder and the whopper flopper. Let's see if we can get on a moving bite. Fish are swimming all over the edges, but they look like they're in spawn mode, so I'm not sure how hungry they're going to be. Let's see if we can find out. Got one. Oh, yeah. There we go. I was burning the sidewinder. Smoked it some reason when I burn this bait they just can't resist it that's a good one two pounder look at that that's awesome first one of the day I got my pump going oh my that's awesome let's burn it it's a bait that you burn and they just have a split second to react to it that's when you get a lot of bites when you're fishing, you go right by a lot more fish than you realize. And if you can burn this thing up shallow when they're up shallow feeding, it is a great way to catch them. You go slower in colder water, but when the water's decent temperature, I like burning it. Bunch of grass all over this pond. Gotta get that off. You're not gonna catch one. So there's three natural springs in this pond, plus we got water flowing in at the other end of the pond. And it is filling up just about as fast as that three inch pump is pumping it out. I've had it going all day and the water level has only dropped about four inches. And there's still water flowing out from under the spillway. So as the water gets lower, it's gonna quit flowing and it's going to take even longer to drain because then it's only going to be draining out of that pump and not going under the spillway. It's just slowly draining. So we're going to have to get a bigger pump, I think. We're going to have to build like some sort of wall in front of the dam over there and tie it into the dam. And then I might have to cut holes in the concrete and pour, I don't know, six feet worth of concrete to fill that whole thing up and just make it solid. I don't really know what I'm going to have to do, but it is a big project. Not something we were hoping for. All the flood made it happen, and that's crazy. It also happened while I was at Dale Hollow. The day I got back when I came to the venue after my boat wreck. Found that out. <laughs> crazy, but guys are going to do something. 
We're just gonna fish and try to catch one here. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, look at that. My eyelet came out. That's from surviving a boat crash right there, folks. Surviving a boat crash. The eyelet didn't survive it, but we're gonna stick it back in there for the minute. We don't have any pliers to take it, clip it off. Lost an eyelet here. And one more up there. That's all right. <laughs> Rod still works. Probably gonna set the hook and it's gonna snap. All that shock it went through. It's the next day, Scout and I are out here. The pump did not end up pumping the water down quick enough. So we're gonna have to get a bigger pump, something like a six or eight inch instead of that three inch because it just didn't work fast enough. So I didn't fish very long yesterday. I just cast about 10 times, caught that one. We're gonna do the same thing today. See if anything's biting. Oh, I watched him eat it, guys. I watched him smoke that. That was my first cast of the day. That's awesome. Nice little guy, pound, pound and a half. I watched him come out and eat it. That's hard to beat right there. Okay, chatterbait doing work. Burning it again. So erratic when you burn it. First cast on the sidewinder. Picked one up, no more fish and three more casts so I'm throwing out the little Ned rig seeing if it's gonna get munched now let's see the bass let's see if he wants the old Ned he did not want old Ned Picked it up, guys. Out there towards the middle on the Senko. Sunny, calm day. Gotta switch to a more natural presentation. Get them sometimes. Little guy. See ya. So, this is the Katana Nico hook. I love throwing it. Eight pound test, eight to 12, whatever you're comfortable with. But if you throw it on eight, it's gonna sink a little quicker. You'll be happier fishing it, but you might lose them easier in that grass. Let it sink, give it a couple twitches, let it sink. That's all there is to it. Time to give you guys the final little tour here uh, before our first wedding. So right out back here, we have our little uh, fountain we got a rose bush this is the lodge here we're gonna start with the lodge enough benches down there yeah I'm giving them the tour enough benches down there to see 300 Cody's been cleaning the lodge we had runners last night how you doing I'm doing great all right you give them the the tour all right of the lodge here here's the bridal room this is where brides and their bridesmaids will get ready for their wedding and um, then they have full access to the full the lodge and we've got a full kitchen in here. One second. Oh. Show them the, the view out here. All right. We've got a full kitchen. They can use it for whatever if they need their caterers to use it. All right. Do that. Yeah. We'll have an extra little table and a little living room area. Okay. They can all hide out in here while their guests arrive. Yeah. And we've got washer and dryer in there, but that's boring. Bathroom. Bunk bedroom. All right. One more room in the lodge. Here's our master room. And then 
this is one of my favorite views. Check it out, guys. The pond stays blue like year round. It's all spring fed. All right. You're dirty and you're in my clean. <laughs> I need to get out of here, she said. Here's the final outdoor spot. We planted a bunch of plants down there and all the benches set up the arbor. Yep. <laughs> oh, our lights are on. We got can lights to light up the whole lodge at night. Okay, what do we have here? This is our groomsmen lounge. On this side, we have a little sitting area where the guys can sit out there and do whatever they do. <laughs> and then inside here is the changing room area. So, you can put your cups on. And walk out and Ooh. looking good. Got all of our signs. What happens at the lake stays at the lake. Okay. Not really though. <laughs> and then the best part of the Grimsman Lounge. Yes. We redid this whole thing, guys. Got us a little bar top. What Eight. was even in here before? I forgot. It was a uh, empty room. It didn't even have good framing up. We probably had 38 snakes in here. Yeah, look at that one. Oh, pause that and read those. <laughs> <laughs> got all of our signs up. Got some antlers. It's heated and cooled. Kind of hides up there. Got a couple bucks from Missouri. Little ones. I didn't want at the house. Fishing sign. That's the Groomsman Lounge. Let's go on to the venue. Got the fire pit here, which isn't in yet, but this is where that old greenhouse used to be. We strung some lights and the fire pit's going right in the middle of there. Light up at night, have a nice fire pit, octagon. So that was the Groomsman Lounge and the lodge and the outdoor venue down there. You got the beautiful spring fed pond here the dam we redid, the main entrance, and then the venue. Let's go check it out. This thing is huge, 5,000 square foot. We see 300 indoor and outdoor scouts waiting to give you the tour here. All right, scout, let's go check out the inside of the venue. Got sweet springs. Oh yeah, office Cody design, looks good. And this is a little entry room, a little seating area in this room. Got some history of the place on the walls. Ooh, chandelier's looking good. How's it going? It's going good. All right. Here it is. Here it is. Finally finished. Looks so good. We got a little patio area out here we'll show you. Oh yeah, right. balcony area. The bride's on her way to set up the tables how she wants them. That's why they're all scattered. But. Yeah, the smaller wedding for the first one, I think about 75 guests. But we can seat 300 in here. So we have plenty more tables put up. DJ can be up on the balcony. Big old building. And two bathrooms, men's and a women's. Let's, let's show them the bathrooms. We redid those. Here's the men's. It out. There's the one bathroom. Another one looks the same, except two stalls. A little bar I built out of pallets. Stained it a dark walnut color. It's all pallets, guys. I'll show you the before picture right now. It's crazy. And here is the patio area. We're going to be building some tables out here eventually, but for now, we can just take tables from inside here. Put them on the patio area. We've got stringing lights crossing in the middle here, and then some on this fence we put up today. Got that all done. Bridge back there takes you to the spring. There's a nice river flowing. Got our landscaping we did. Let's go check out the creek. Check out the water. Then we're gonna go fishing. It's all green, so peaceful guys. So a tree fell on this bridge, I had to rebuild it, half of it, but we got it built. 
There's the creek flowing. Waterfalls, when it rains, it flows even harder. Beautiful. So that's what's been going on at the wedding venue. The fish are biting there. They bit the sidewinder and some other baits, but I only fished for them a half hour each time I, I went out there. Uh, I, I tend to not bring a fishing rod when I go to the venue just because I'll have to fish. I'll have to cast. I see four or five pounders swimming along the, the shoreline. But we're dropping the pond. We're going to be redoing the dam of the pond next. Not sure how we're going to do it. We might build forms on each side and pump it full of concrete and dig out the front and build a header wall and tie it all in. We just got to have it drivable for our weddings. And being hollowed out, it could cave in any time a car drives over it and we can't have that. So it's our main gate's locked, but uh, we're going to be fixing that next. So. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching this video. A little different than the ones I normally put out, but just wanted to show you what all's going on. Just kind of piece together updates. And yeah, it's been it's been a fun project, rewarding project this past year. So we're gonna get out of here for the day. God bless you guys. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby. Thank you.